Is there some yeah. is there some people that are born without awareness muscle? Well, <laughs> uh, we have uh, <coughs> pathologies, I would say, of awareness. But of course, we. <coughs> we I, I don't think there are pathologies that uh, uh, remove all uh, such uh, things as concentration. Um, but um, of course, we have um, a lot of people with uh, disturbances. Um, many Asperger's, for example, have uh, problems of concentration, or they have very special fields of concentration. So uh, the problem is, uh, you could say that uh, there there are areas of focus, right? For example, many Aspergers have uh, strong focus on numerical um, problems or occurrences in general, and have uh, difficulties uh, um, paying attention to, for example, other people's uh, discourse for more than very short periods and they can't control it so you can say that the lack of that control is a sort of uh, very weak uh, muscle of awareness right and of course uh, uh, Asperger's count a lot in uh, social life nowadays it is believed that there is an increase in uh, people who have uh, mental uh, architectures uh, uh, belonging to the Asperger spectrum, which is a sort of uh, very large autist spectrum. So we have uh, like involuntary uh, um, focusing or lack of control of the focus. Something like you, you have to think of specific things um, and you can't uh, move away your um, um, attention to it. So involuntary attention was something, by the way, that the Freudians attributed to neurosis. Um, I think, uh, in fact, uh, in uh, everyday life psychiatry, so to speak, I mean, we all use uh, uh, terms and concepts from a sort of spontaneous psychiatry, especially when we, we want to criticize other people. Yeah. People that they are psychopaths and so. Mm. And neurosis is a, is a great um, concept, great term for offending people, right? But uh, science, and uh, it goes for all of its terms, in fact. You are a pervert, you are a neurotic, you are etc. Um, but it, it, uh, there is a tendency now to, in fact, abandon those uh, Freudian concepts. And um, I think a lot of the uh, compulsory uh, neurotics who cannot control their attention, so in a sense with that, they are helpless uh, as to what their mind wants to think about, right? Um, will go into the Asperger spectrum, in fact, which is interesting because it shows that it, it has to do with the architecture of the individual mind. And it can, of course, be, it's, it's a, a very hot discussion in France nowadays, the um, scientific criticism directed at the Freudian tradition, because the Freudian tradition is very strong in France, right? And uh, it's dramatic because um, Freudians are in the psychiatric departments of the hospitals also, and they treat a lot of kids, for example, mm -hmm. who have uh, problems with concentration. The damp children, in the Danish terminology. And uh, the Freudians would then uh, typically believe that uh, they can analyze it away, that it has to do with the desire structure, the structure of the desire in the unconscious of the kid. Mm. So they do a sort of uh, infant uh, psychoanalysis on it. And in the meantime, of course, time passes uh, by and, and uh, such uh, kids uh, are not treated. Mm -hmm. The of uh, is much more 
successful. Mm. So they would believe that it is a sort of a spiritual pathology, the Freudians, and uh, it, it would be just like, I mean, uh, medicine that is improvised on spiritual grounds in other fields. It's very dangerous because uh, it leads to a neglect of proper treatment. Mm. Now you can train, of course, uh, awareness. It, it can be trained. Uh, systematically, it takes a long time and and, uh, and a lot of, of effort and energy, but uh, it leads to much more socially functional uh, as purpose. The first thing is, of course, to not stick to a, a wrong uh, characterization of the pathology. And we could say that it's, of course, a very, very soft uh, spectrum here or uh, is it a pathology at all i mean we, we might all have some uh, aspergerian uh, properties especially if we are artists or s scientists i mean i have seen uh, a lot of very strange things in the field of linguistics for example <laughs> people who could not deconcentrate no. not for a moment i mean so they get uh, like overly invested in very specific fields and to totally um, incapable of uh, social uh, interaction in other fields or very intolerant and very caractériel among the other uh, Is yeah. it what you call last time the, uh, the body, the academic body or? Yeah, well, in, uh, in academia uh, I think there is an over-representation of of uh, people with uh, this sort of difficulties, namely uh, very uneven concentration, over strong concentration in some fields and uh, overly weak uh, concentration in other fields. So for example, many scientists can't uh, take ordinary blah blah discourse in social conversation. They cannot converse. They can only lecture. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Uh, accused of, of lecturing too much instead of doing conversation myself it's, I think yeah. <laughs> it might be I'm, I might be doing some autobiography here <laughs> but, but but it's something that uh, is um, is a lack of will or it's it's because it's in it's in the body of the it, it's it's inherent uh, or it's uh, yeah. it's inherent yes well in a sense uh, will is uh, the function anyway in the human mind. I mean, volition is the same thing. Uh, we feel it's a free uh, thing, so we call it free will. But we can, for example, want to want something without doing the wanting. So there's no meta language in, in the will. <laughs> What we will, we will, right? And even if we want, would like to will something else, uh, it's not Uh, within our reach to do that. <laughs> so it's uh, impossible? Or? Well, uh, we negotiate that in social life. When you, If I tell you that you should do this and that, then you could say, okay, I will. <laughs> Which means I will give it a try. <laughs> so you can import my will instead of your own, and I can import your will. Uh, social life is in part based on that fact we can we call that to uh, modalize each other modalization you know uh, I must do things I may do things I can do things I will do things but what I will is is uh, the worst of them because it's not based on my reasoning it's a very basic function mm. so you can say it has a biological foundation right But, but it's negotiable between people. So there's intersubjectivity in the will. Mm. Mm. So you can be my uh, meter language and tell me what, I, what you would like me to, to want. And I'll give it a chance. <laughs> but it, uh, there's no guarantee. Mm. But, but that's, for example, political life, right? Mm. I want you to vote for me. <laughs> I will... 
I want you to want me as a president, mm. right? But there's no guarantee that that works. Mm. <laughs> People would say, ha, ah, it depends on, uh, on what I think about you, by the way, <laughs> right? So uh, interpersonal uh, muscle strengthening or weakening is, uh, is a highly dramatic factor in social life. Political life is based on it. Mm. Uh, the, the best thing is to just understand that the mind is an, an autonomous uh, function in the body and it has uh, properties that the rest of the body doesn't have. By the way, Benjamin Levitt uh, published an article later saying, hey, I was wrong because what I was measuring was uh, uh, the spot that for the decision to make a decision, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is prior to the decision itself, mm. uh, which is um, uh, likely to be uh, totally um, uh, synchronic with the uh, conscience um, um, registration of it. Then, of course, uh, the meta language of consciousness, something like, now I'm conscious that I'm conscious, that takes uh, several fractions of a second. So the question is really <laughs> complicated to account for here. The best thing is to, to be a, a good dualist, I would say. Consciousness cannot be reduced to neurons. And, uh, but uh, there are correlations.